Hey guys, today is March 10th, 2018, and this is your daily vlog number 54. Again, my apologies for not releasing a new video anytime soon, but I got some data for you, so I'd like to go ahead and explain. Let me go ahead and show you guys Profit Trailer. And I've been using PT Magical with it, so just to give you guys some information. Um, let's take a look at the sales log. So this is my sales log, and I have went ahead and did some research on these coins here, as well as the last stop loss I have done here. Uh, overall, I am still bleeding. Okay, if you take a look, my stop losses, uh, yeah, they're, they're causing some bleeding. So looking at this information, I had to readjust. Okay, I went ahead and impl implement my new settings. But before we get into that, let me go ahead and show you guys uh, Profit uh, PT Magic and some of the issues and why I haven't released a new video because I've been trying to troubleshoot PT Magic for, you know, about two days now. And I have a trouble ticket open, well, you know, support ticket open with uh, the PT Magic team. Um, I am not able to get my 15 minute exchange accurate, nor does the 24 hour look okay. However, the one hour is the only thing that looks okay. So the one hour, these are supposed to be absolute values of the coin and it's supposed to give me the trends of that coin. However, all the information just doesn't look properly except the one hour. And the one hour looks just spot on, so I'm pretty happy with it because I want all I am using is the one hour at this time. Now, I want to go ahead and incorporate 5 minute, 15 minute, and 30 minute if possible to sort of pinpoint my buys. And that's going to be a lot of work. And I got to do a lot of charting and figuring that out. Next, let me go ahead and show you guys the ticket I created and just to give you guys some transparency on that and sort of the issues. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not the only one. So that's the good news. So. Um, when I mentioned this ticket, this is the ticket I opened. It's like, hey, the graphs don't look good. This doesn't look right. Someone else actually said that, you know, um, someone else is saying that hmm, I, I, I don't look like I have the, the proper information as well. So that's a little different. And other people recreating the market data is not reflecting the dashboard graph. Now, the dashboard graph and what PT Magic is actually setting on your settings file is not one to one. Is this is just a visual graph okay however I don't know for sure certain but for me personally I only feel like this is a visual problem and it has nothing to do with the actual settings PT magic incorporates however I do not feel comfortable incorporating the 15 minute or the 5 minute or the 30 minute at this time or even the 24 hour until I get this dashboard cleaned up and I sort of get some good answers from PT magic's team so let's see what did I do I went ahead and looked at my stop losses and we, let's take a look at each one and let's go over what I learned from each stop loss. So I already, already, I already went ahead and looked at when I bought the coin and when I um, when it DCA. I didn't care about the stop loss. I don't care about the stop loss, but I want to see if I could have made profit. So the first thing I did was, you know, just a quick uh, to show you guys, I just did um, grep. Uh, dash E buy order sell order on the profit trailer logs and it gave me tons of information so it gives me this information here this shows me all the buys and sells that well actually not this file but this file yeah it shows me all the buys and sales my bot has done in the last X amount of days okay and I needed an accurate date where my bot has bought that specific coin so I could go in and chart it and that's why I needed to do it because I was going through telegram and I was like oh that's too much work eventually I want to get this opt out and make it look nice into a CVS file so I can just download it like like that that's the ultimate goal so I don't have to go through it but in the meantime it, it doesn't take me too long to be like okay I see bought at this time right but it'll be nice if I had it like nicely clean and cleanly laid out so uh, consumers like you guys could just go ahead and run a command or even in PowerShell um, if you guys wanted to know what it would be like in PowerShell I think I have it here too uh, I still need to figure it out but uh, select string um, allows you to select that string type so I did uh, cat the log file pipe select string I know it's getting technical but this is how I got my log information that's all I wanted to say okay so here we go here are some data points that we have so let's go to ADA Actually, let's go to VeChain. VeChain is the first one I looked at. My bot bought this coin at 1540. Oh, I should have put the date associated with it. I believe that was today, March March 10th. 
Actually, I think I have it right here. Okay. So on the left here, my bot bought the coin at 1540. Okay. Bought it at 1540 at the roughly at the price of 40399. 40399. So roughly about this point. Okay. So this is actually a pretty good spot to be buying at. I mean, look at how much upswing it has. It goes all the way to 0.9%, right? I mean, it hits 0.9% here again, too. So what this tells me is the bot missed the opportunity to sell. Even over here, that's like how many options? One, two. But again, the bot missed the opportunity to sell. The, the coin just, you know, at the time, the market was just going up and down too fast. And when it got the information, it just couldn't get the information in time. Or, you know, because of trailing, it messed up. It just saw it was trailing in and just went down too fast and it missed the opportunity to buy. Or, excuse me, to sell. So that's part one. So then after this, it starts DCA. So it DCAs twice. 8.15 is DCAs. Okay, so 8.15 is DCAs. And then it DCAs again at 8.28. 8.28. Roughly around here, it DCAs. So based upon the coin and how many times it has bought the coin, the average for the 20 coins of VeChain came out to be 39,845. 39, okay, so 39,845. So right about this is the mark. After my DCAs, this is my current price, right? If I wanted 1%, then it will be if I'm one in one percent, it will be that much, forty thousand two hundred forty-three. And then if I do half a percent gain, I'm at forty thousand or four hundred thousand. Okay, so let's just look at four hundred thousand and just roughly say about here to here. How did my bot freaking miss the sell at that point? A little disappointed. I am very disappointed. So uh, let me look at if when the stop loss actually triggered. The stop loss triggered way after this point. It's the stop loss trigger like roughly, ooh, I don't know. Let me see here. Um, a whole day later, so it, my stop loss trigger somewhere around here. So I it, I missed the opportunity to sell. Okay, so what I wrote down here is bot miss sell. Bot missed the sell. So that's my problem. And the strategy was good, but the bot missed the sell. So all right, cool. Let's look at ADA, and I already wrote it. I wrote the cheat sheet. It only gained 0.5%, and my sell was at 0.7. But we could go ahead and take a look at the coin as well. So 23.21, 23.21, my bot bought the coin. Okay, 23.21, my bot bought the coin at 23.21. Uh, Somewhere around here, I bought it, and the price that I bought it at was 2.294, 2.294. It bought it right here. Okay. It DCA's so this one here. This is the possible gains I have. This is the only time I actually really have a price to buy it at. I mean, I guess I could DCA, 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 and then try to get out of it over here, but that's just too hard. Too hard, right? You don't want to DCA that much and try to get out. I mean, the one setting that I wish I had in Profit Trailer is that you're only allowed to DCA within the first hour. If you don't, if you can't DCA with, actually, take this back, even take it even further back. If you don't sell the coin in within the first hour, sell it. That's the setting I want. If you can't sell the coin in the first hour, sell it. I don't want to deal with it. You sell the coin after the first hour or maybe the first two hours and then that's it. Like, don't, don't deal with it if it's not positive, right? If it's, if it doesn't hit my sell target, just don't even like just sell it at any point after the first two hours. All right. Because that's what the strategy I'm working towards here. I want to be able to go in and out of my pairs within an hour because I'm looking at the data and this is what I'm finding. Okay. Let's take a look at another one. All right. Let's go to, let's look at Walton coin. So I go ahead and try to this one too. Walton coin. I bought it at 1858. So 1858. Okay, right here. You can see um, um, 1858. I bought it, and then I bought it at 173,020. Okay, so right about there. I bought it just right about there, just a little bit slightly lower than that, but roughly I bought it there. Let's take a look at the gains. If I want, if I could take a look at. It. Let me just make sure I got this right exactly. Two three zero two three zero two. Okay, this is good enough. 
So the gains here, there is gains. You can see that it's 0.72, but my bot missed the sell again. Actually, we could take it a little bit further down. What I said is 0.5 gain only, but to be honest, I think bot missed sell. Because, you know, the market, the bot's not smart enough to gather that data on nonstop, so there's a high chance that it will miss that probability that it might miss its sell because the sell happens that in that, that one second, right? If the price hit that time one time, that one second, it's going to show up in the graphs. You know, it's unfortunate that the bot missed the sell, but it did, right? So that's what ended up happening. All right, let's take a look at another one. All right, Walton Coin. Oh, so that was Walton Coin. Oh, yeah, I actually put bot miss sell here. Yeah, that's straight up. And then the 22 and the 20, uh, the 2200 and the 2200 again. Well, that's way later down in the road. And it's I already lost my opportunity to buy or opportunity to sell. So, again, bot miss sell. Let's take a look at ICX. Now, ICX is a different story. ICX is bad call. Okay, and I was trying to chart it and see if I could find out information, if I could tweak my settings so that I could avoid this bad call, but it looked a little too difficult. It just sometimes you make bad calls with your bot and you have to, it just happens, you know. So let's go to this coin at 3.8, all right. So 3, and hopefully this is the uh, right time. 3.8, 16.58, 3.8, 16 16.58, 16.58. Okay, around this time it bought the coin, 3.8, 16.58, okay. Somewhere around here, it bought the coin, 1658. Right, let's just say it bought here. It hit my metrics, but look at this. How am I supposed to get out of it, right? How am I supposed to get out of this? So what I try to do was say, hey, what if my bot bought at this candlestick? And it went up all the way, but that's, I try to map it, and this is something I need to come back to. So let me give you an example. I went ahead and charted the 60 minute. It was at a negative 1.83. The 30 minute was at a negative nine. The 15 minute was at a negative 30, uh, 0.31%, right? It, the fact that it didn't, what is the word? It, it didn't exponentially rise. I don't feel like this is a good setting to add if it was the opposite way. Um, so let's say for example, it started at 0.5. And then it went to negative one, and then it went to negative two. Great, I would take that. I would say, hey, that's a good time because it looks like it's gonna tank even further. It's exponentially going or going down, right? So I would increase my buy value at a lower buy target. So that's that's my mindset. But again, a lot of learning needs to be done. I'm no expert. I am here to learn and just sh uh, show you guys what I'm learning here today. So. All right, we got another coin. We just bought this coin, actually. Profit Trailer, and I bought this coin. All right, uh, ETC, BTC, and I bought it. I have it in my notes. Do, 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 do. I bought it, ETC, I bought it at 2.19 today. So 2.19 today, and I think I have it sort of, and I, what, what was my buy price at? My buy price was uh, 2306. So 2306. I mean, 0.5% gain. Okay. 0.5% gain. So I didn't hit my metric of 0.7. So that's the reason why, you know, it didn't sell. So it, it's still at a positive side. Right now it's at around this level here. So you can. You know, and profit trailer is saying it's still positive, but it needs a lot more to go before it actually gets out of this. Actually, yeah, 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 that's fine. Oh, look, it's going up. Cool. So I just wanted to go ahead and cover that information regarding my settings after this point here, because it actually happened in one of my more popular videos, low BB, where I'm like, man, it missed the sell twice. I like sort of yell at it, yell at that. That was like a video three videos back. I I really want to take off trailing, but I'm just too greedy not to. So I put sell value at 0.4 and increase the trailing profit to 0.2. I think that's a bad idea. Maybe I should just do it. I don't know. I don't know. I, I If I don't... So the reason why I have to have it at least like this, my stop loss sugar is at negative 2. I am risking, I am risking significantly more for small amounts of gain. 
It's, that's not, you know, how are you going to are you going to make profit if you do that? Now, if if the market is moving up, no matter what, if you think all coins are going are going to do well, I mean, you can hold on to a bag forever and it will DCA and it will be able to sell. But some of these coins look like they're going to just disappear from the face of the earth. So you'll there's a chance that you'll never get out of that coin. Well, I, I don't want to be a part of that, right? So that's why I have a stop loss trigger. Anyways, uh, the video was a little long. Hopefully, I covered everything I wanted to cover. Uh, thank you for watching again. I know this one was a little bit too, a little bit technical, but uh, I want to get more technical information and try to really figure this stuff out and provide this information more accurately to you. So uh, I'm gonna just be researching for you guys, man. Uh, thanks for all the new subscribers. Please thumbs up and subscribe, and uh, let me know how you guys think I'm doing, and give me, leave me a comment below because I read all of them. All right, thanks, guys. Bye bye.